Ironically, the Pentagon has a very dark history of exposing its soldiers to toxic environments and has in fact acknowledged that it concealed to them the dangers of a very hazardous chemical defoliant called Agent Orange used in the Vietnam War. The military said that um, Agent Orange was not harmful, but after a large number of these soldiers died over 30 years, 35 years, the military finally came forward and said, yes, Agent Orange was harmful and they were starting to compensate the people, but that's only because so many soldiers had died, their financial obligation was lessened. Costs are very relevant in the EU diplomacy. There is the alternative of using the metal tungsten as an acceptable substitute for the EU. But as tungsten is not a cheap waste, the big military industry will likely oppose. For such a disregard of human costs, companies like General Dynamics or Alliant Tech Systems have scored obscene rewards for making something which only in its name is different from a terrorist weapon. This depleted uranium breaks the spirit, it breaks the mind, it breaks the health. And what, what, a, what does a person have left? And then a troop like a, a Sergeant Reed, he still looks pretty strong, but inside he's starting to deteriorate. Mr. Reed, I think in another five, six years, uh, you won't recognize him. Did you hear it? This is how I sleep all night. This is a war of calculated indifference. In this war, the most powerful individuals in the planet are confronted with those who have no eyes to see, no mouth to scream, no arms to defend themselves. No horrible noises at night will keep awake such powerful individuals, and all their nightmares will disappear into thin air. Those who master the greatest force in nature will not hold their breaths for anything less than the destruction of the world. No nuclear explosion has taken place. These alpha particles do not penetrate the skin. These are the facts.